Well, of course, trying to go into that uh, recovery partition, borked Windows 7, which is alright, because I kind of expected I was going to have to reinstall anyway. So now I'm booting up Gparted from CD-ROM, from external CD-ROM. And um, I'll see if I can move that 40 meg up and uh, then I'll reinstall like I was going to anyway. There we go. Now it should be loading in. You people that buy these little shit externals, this thing will never fucking die. It's just awesome through and through. Alright, now it's searching. Now it found some stuff, so let me go and squish everything around. That looks like what I want. I'll hit apply. Are you sure? Yeah. So now it's going to go and do all this. And now it's moving partitions to the right and to the left and reconfigurizing. Now the drive looks like what it should. All the unallocated space at the beginning of the drive and the recovery partition at the end. Now we reinstall Windows 7. I do apologize about the noise. I'm updating my server over there. But uh, over here... This is all set, and we're ready to install all the Windows updates. So, now that I got the service pack in, we'll go and do that. Well, here we are, a few days later. Um, it just took a while for the updates and that to go in, plus I haven't been putting my full effort into this. And I've just done everything, created a backup image, and now we're rebooting for the first time in Windows 7. Take my disk out. Now the only thing I don't know why the reason is is why it gives like a Vista loading screen. This is exactly the same copy of Windows that I used on that eMachines. Same 32-bit, same everything and not having that problem. So, I don't know. It just is. I don't care. It works. So, that's really the main thing. Uh, it is a little slow loading up, but you'd expect that. They did sell these things with Windows 7 on them, uh, toward the tail end of them. So, it's not unheard of that these would have Windows 7. And, uh, obviously it won't focus on the screen when there's nothing on it. Oh, apparently it still had a couple of uh, configurations to do, so I guess that's on the image now. Oh well. <laughs> there we are. Welcome. And there's everything installed that I use, plus other stuff hidden away in the start menu. And that's it. Everything just magically works. Another interesting thing is the little trick I showed you in Device Manager before with the ACPI fan and that was not actually necessary when I reloaded the OS. I think because I installed Service Pack 1 and that apparently took care of something or had a driver for it or fuck knows what, but it's all there, it all works, everything's here, you know, it's reasonably zippy for what it is, everything's taken care of, it got a 2.1 on the Windows Experience Index, not that that means anything. Device Mangler, like I said, is nice and clean. There we go. Like I said, it's pretty zippy even on Windows 7. It just, everything just sort of works well. So that's it. I can now shut this down and um, close it up and put it with my other netbook, which still has XP on it, which is the subject of a future Windows 7 load. Although, I don't know when I'll ever get around to doing that because I use that for a particular purpose. So anyway, we'll shut this one down. I don't really need the box, so I guess I'll get rid of that. The sound you hear is the fan in the external drive there. 
the external optical drive. So that'll shut down right now. And that's it. I don't know why it sits a little wonky. I think the freezer isn't exactly level. That's probably why it's doing that, because it has all its little foots on it and that. So that's all there. I just wish on this one that they didn't use this blasted tiny plug because that is just garbage and it's going to fucking break like they all did. But anyway, there it is. Eee! It runs Windows 7. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.